Yo, everyone, we are back with Rain Code. Time for us to find. Wait, actually, nope. This is a new session, so I actually kind of forgot what we were doing last time. Oh! There's a quest over at Kanai Tower that we actually haven't. Wait, no, that's just an objective for an already gotten one that I cannot go to right now. We do, however, have a whole three of these to deal with. Uh, so let's go in the order of which I think we pick them up, which first means Vivia. View this memory. Time to head into it. See what we can find, what we get, what info we get. Maybe we'll get something useful. Maybe we'll just get more fun chatter. You never know. Chances are that's probably going to be fun chatter, but, you know, that's what we're here for. You still learn stuff about the characters and you get more connected to them and learn more about them. It's always worthwhile. Also, bro, your posture is ass. Also, looking at your in-game model makes you look way, uh... I don't know. Way more young than your portrait. Let's just put it on auto, let it roll out. used to being alone with Vivia. Knowing who he is, this silence isn't really so awkward anymore. True. We don't have to force a conversation to break the silence, which makes it easier to be around him than the others. Huh. <sighs> I want to die someday. Yeah, but what's that about? Huh? That's awfully sudden. Oh, did I think out loud again? Yeah, kind of. You sure did. Professional. Uh, sorry about that. Guess I surprised you. I'll be careful not to think out loud next time. I will say it is funny how loud they make them. Um... want, but it sounds really concerning. True. And I've been wondering, what do you mean by someday? Hmm? What do you want to know? Well, all people die eventually. I suppose I'm wondering if you want to die sooner. True. Saying someday makes it sound like you can't die. Wait, is that what it is? You can't die? His forte. That explained why you'd say something so strange. Huh? He's undead? His forte is immortality. That's a wonderful deduction. Is it I true? I guess I'm wrong, though. Well, I don't know about that. This man is suspicious in a unique way. Being unable to die sounds like it's straight out of a story. So romantic. Like he, his, you, his uh, mic is so much louder than everyone do? else's. It's if pretty you funny. Everlasting life. What would I do if I lived forever? Like I love the voice acting in this game, but they made some uh, interesting choices on the audio balancing. Like, some characters just sound extremely more loud than others. Seth Burrows being the worst offender. Like, that dude, I still can't get over how loud he was. Vivia is manageable, comparatively. But, still. A uh, hundred years from now. Huh. Maybe just I'd go like over the world. people from all over the world. There's a limit to how many people you can meet in a lifetime, but it'd be a different story if you lived forever. Oh, <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Although, after a certain number, you begin to notice patterns. So, it'd eventually grow boring. I mean, yeah, but everyone's life is unique. You might notice patterns, but there's always going to be some type of variety, you know? It's not going to become static. Anything else? Hmm, what else? Uh, if I had everlasting life, what would I want to do? I can't think of anything in particular. But we just thought of something in particular. That that that's a lie because we got to choose something else that first. Quick. Huh? Quick? There is no end to human greed. Some people think that. But it's not true whatsoever. Everything comes to an end. Just like how you couldn't think of anything else you'd want. 
Huh. I think I just meant I didn't have any good ideas right now. Someday, greed will end. Just like you would die before your greed could be satiated. Humanity, too, has a lifespan. Okay, but what about the other seven sins? Will lust ever end? Will I ever stop being horny? These are questions I need answers to, Vivia Twilight. Uh-huh. Vivia Twilight Sparkle. If you were to live forever, you'd see how tough life can be. It may be fun at the beginning, but eventually, I'm certain you wouldn't desire anything else. Honestly, that's a fair point. Like, eventually you're going to learn everything there is to learn, and at that point it's just like, well, shit. And once you were bored of everything, you'd reach the same conclusion all others would. That you hope to die someday. Uh... The moments you lose all desire, your final desire for death would be born. So you're saying you're already bored of this world? You want to move on to the next, buddy? Is that what your thing is? <laughs> it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Kinda, but also, like... If we knew character ages in this game, I feel like we'd learn quite a bit about you. Does it? Uh, but wait. Vivia, by that logic, doesn't your desire to die mean you're immortal? Hmm... You're free to think what you want. That's not an answer. It's enough for today. I need to go back to my world of books. Uh, this man is on a very unique level. Did he just give me the runaround? Or is he always like this? I can't tell. Figure out in a later chapter. I wonder if I'll understand him better someday. Probably in chapter four. All right. Well, that was an interesting interaction. <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot, but also didn't learn anything from that. Vivia is a very strange individual. I wonder if his bit about wanting to die someday is just going to be something that continues for the rest of the game, or if it's going to be like when he comes into actual uh, relevancy that he's going to drop the bit. You never know, though. Time will tell. I was like, I hear the rain. I know I'm going to load in here soon. All right. I actually forgot which of these two I got first. So I guess we'll go with Hilara. Uh, against it with the big guy. What was this one? I cannot even read what that says. Never mind. Okay, going with Hilara. Wait, that was the fourth one in line, right? Did I miss one somewhere? Is there any areas I haven't gone over? I feel like I've I've probably gotten everything Kamasaki by now. Uh, I mean, maybe there's one in this area and it just isn't counting that. Man, Yuma's way shorter than I thought he was. He's not even on <sighs> camera right now. This is medicine for the soul. Huh? What are you doing, Halara? Oh my gosh, wait. Is it about like her cat obsession or whatever? Uh, uh, uh. I could ask you the same thing. The chief asked me to do some shopping. I just happened to see you, Halara. Why are you staring at cat pictures in the dark? Oh my gosh, I was right. Y you were watching? Wow, you really were looking at cat photos. This is just what happens when, if she had, a, if like, if she had access to a phone, like, if there weren't the freaking restrictions of Kanai Ward and Halara had a phone, she would definitely spend it to watch. She would use it 99% of the time to watch cat videos and look at cat pictures online. That's why she has a freaking internet, internet freaking bars on her head, on her freaking coat. It's a reminder, a constant reminder to them that they cannot be watching cat videos right now. And it is the reason they want to seek the truth. That was a bluff? You of all people? Uh, but I have seen you looking at cat photos before. Do you own a cat or something? Alas, I wish I could. <laughs> oh, oh shit, is that like 
deep deep rooted trauma of like a past cat you had no this is just a photo of a cute cat i find it calming so i carry it with me oh really oh really thank you yuma what you look like you have something to say no, it's nothing like that. I'm just happy to see a human side of you. <laughs> just called them a demon. I didn't expect you to be a cat lover. That's not surprising. I know full well it doesn't fit my image, so I hide my affection for cats. No, 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 no. It's all about that gap from away. I hope you understand you are not to tell anyone about this. I will tell Desuhiko. Right, I, I won't. But why do you like cats so much? It's none of your concern. But I want to know. I want to be friends. But you don't want me to tell anyone, right? Is that a threat? You're really threatening me? Oh my gosh. Let's go, Yuma. No, that's not what I meant. Take money off of my debt to you or else <sighs> it goes public. You've grown braver since the day I met you. Thank you. The reason why I like cats isn't a simple subject. What do you think is the best thing about cats? Huh? The best thing? Uh... I'll say my own answer and then I'll probably choose what I think Hilara would want me to say. Their shape, their freedom. I don't know. Uh huh. I would have just said their personality, but I'm gonna go with this just because I feel like I can make jokes with this. Fear five. Free they are. It's true that cats are free to do as they please. Cats behave freely with elegance. You could say they embody freedom. There are some who would call them selfish, but those words don't hold weight. Those yeah. who criticize cats are nothing but marionettes shaped like humans. I, I see. But Damn. the freedom-loving nature of cats being their most charming quality is still debatable. I've never seen Halara contemplate something so seriously. <laughs> um, what's the best thing about cats? Their most charming quality. It's hard to choose. Right, because they're so awesome and cool, and everything about them is amazing. Hmm. Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh, is that it? Huh? There is no way to determine a cat's single greatest trait. The elements that comprise cats, the information they emit, all are equally valuable. Halara is so based and real for this. I see. Moreover, I can list every charming quality cats have and discuss them in extreme detail. Lay it on me, they stir. Let's begin with the obvious topics. For example, their fragrance. This is bad. It's going into super obsessive territory. Maybe Halara is happy to finally talk to someone about cats, since this side is usually hidden. You need to stop this soon, otherwise it'll never end. No, don't stop it. Um, if you like cats so much, have you ever wanted to own one yourself? That's... <sighs> huh? What's wrong? I can't tell if they're just like, I would explode on contact with a real cat from sheer cuteness. Or it's gonna be like, you know, what I said earlier. I'm allergic to cats. Oh, God dealt you a bad hand, I see. I mean, that doesn't stop a lot of people. As long as they have medicine and whatnot, they just go through the pain. Oh. For some reason, whenever I touch a cat, my skin becomes itchy. I've tried several times and it always happens. Jeez. Who made me this way? A cruel joke. I see. It's a shame Halara is allergic to cats. Oh, but if he get a sphinx. To think a master detective has this sort of weakness. I can't help but feel sympathetic. I can't believe master detectives are, are humans. <laughs> master, you and Halara seem to have grown even closer.
Oh boy. I'm sure you will get your own kitty cat one day. I have faith. The resistance. Crosswalks. Detect pedestrians and stop traffic for them. Oh, cool. I, I'm glad they actually explained that. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, that's two out of three down. Mm -mm. Get a drink of water. And now the Desu of the Hikos. Wait, did I miss one for him as well? Looks like there was a second one for him. Or maybe they're not in chronological order. That could also be it. <laughs> Sorry. Particular about how Bane's look. It takes about an hour a day to style. But don't you wear a beanie? Doesn't that just get messed up? Oh my gosh, he's disguised as Yako. I'm back. Huh? Are you here alone, Chief? Yeah, Halara and Desuhiko were here a bit ago. When I got here, they just up and left. I'm sure they're gambling again. Never mind them. Yuma? Yes? What is it? What do you think of Desuhiko? Oh, yep. that That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? No reason. I'm curious about what you think of him. Sure, Chief. It's no big deal or anything. You just want to know? I actually really like the extra effort they put into the voice acting. Despite the fact that it's Yako, like you can hear that Kaiji Tain is doing his best to channel the Desuhiko energy in, in the delivery. Like it's real nice, despite the fact that it's his vocal cords and whatnot, you can tell by the, like the inflections that it's different from the Yako voice, you know? Like there's like a slight, the way they end certain words with almost like a question mark. It's like, oh, you know, it's like that type of stuff, you know? Why would you even wonder about it? I'm just going to play it back just for the hell of it. It's no big deal or anything. You just want to know? I just want to know. Like that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> don't sweat the details. Yeah, like he's doing a real good job of selling the vibe. Like Kaiji is already one of my favorite voice actors of all time, but like. Chef's kiss to him, honestly, for this. Just tell me what you think of Desuhiko. <laughs> what I think of Desuhiko. Though also, I mean, probably also props. Oh shit, I don't like him. Uh, I was gonna say, hmm. Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say. It doesn't necessarily just have to be the voice actors that do a great job. Voice directors as well. Like, I don't know who the voice director or directors were for this game, but it could also just be their influence as well. Like, voice direction is kind of just one of those things that's not really given much thought compared to the voice acting itself. And I feel like people only really bring up voice directors if it's to be like, Oh, maybe this voice actor is a good job. Maybe the voice director just sucked for this. Which, like, you know, that can be the case. But I also want to give credit where credit's due on every front, you know? I don't want people to have thankless professions. Anyways, I he's been a great mentor. He's been a great mentor to me here at the agency. Like, I just think that this is a genuine type of thing to say. Like, both to appease Desuhiko and for the fact that it's just how I think he does for Yuma. They work as a great dynamic overall. He's easy to talk to, and he's considerate in subtle ways. He's rather kind-hearted, too. Oh, I see. What else? His reaction. Now I know for sure. <laughs> Yuma already had a hunch. You're Desuhiko, aren't you? Huh? You knew? <laughs> That's no fun at all. I knew it. And changes out. You're pretty good at seeing through my disguise. Eh, I could tell. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't given yourself away. But why are you in disguise anyway? Huh? You still don't realize it? I was testing you. Thank you, bestie. Testing? That 
it's a test to see if you're worthy of being my apprentice. An apprentice? My master? Concluding this impartial examination. Congratulations, you passed. Feel free to weep with joy. I'll be taking you under my wing. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to be your brother so bad, Shisho. Huh? But I didn't. Honey got told us I was. You want me to be your apprentice? There's only one reason. It'll make me look more like a star. But you already have stars in your eyes. In fact, it's a requirement for stardom. It is? Yep, there's no mistake about it. Anyway, from here on out, I need you to work hard. Understood. Desuhiko's apprentice. I don't get how that makes him look like a star, but I suppose it wouldn't be all that bad. It could be educational for me to learn from a detective firsthand. True. It might even help me remember my powers. I honestly just really like them as a duo, not only for the reasons I mentioned previously, but just just the fact that, you know, they're like the same height. And the fact that Yuma is like slightly taller than him, so it's just like, yeah, I might be short, but my master's even shorter. You actually want to do this? All right, I don't mind being your apprentice, Desuhiko. It'll help me learn how to be a detective too. Huh? You thought I meant it as a detective thing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh no, he meant. I was gonna train you to become a star. You know what? No, that's even better. Let's go, man. Not the yeah. ABCs of being a detective, but how to ooze charisma and charm. Stuff like that. Yeah, nah, sure. Give it six months. With my training, you'll shine half as bright as me. Okay, if the training takes that long, never mind. I kind of take it back. If that's the case, I think I'll pass. Huh? Y you sure? You'll never get another chance like this. Sorry, we're not going to be in this game for six months. Yeah, but I think it's too good for me. Y y really? Uh, yeah, okay, then. Damn. <laughs> Master, you and Desahiko seem to have grown even closer. And that's all three taken care of. What did... Would you know it? We're over 20 minutes in and we have not even left the rooftop. In reality, Yuma's just been sitting there silently for 20 minutes thinking about the past, dr getting drenched. I mean, I know he has his bucket hat and everything, but dude is still getting freaking demolished by rain. Ain't no getting around that part. And we are finally out. Let's see, we've got three, uh, I think we're like directly over half, oh wait, no, when we get one more gab, we'll be over halfway done with all of them. I had to like do some addition there, I'm just like, okay, there's 15, how do I break this in half? All right, into the hideout. I think we have to go inside of... We have to go talk to Fuyuhiko. Bootleg Fuyuhiko. Let me check her. Oh, wait, no, we already got someone. We got someone in this room, so probably isn't going to be any more in here. Hmm? There are various things on the shelf. Maybe these belong to resistance members. Hmm. Helmets, fire extinguishers, drills, wires. Looks like they were getting ready for battle. I hope we don't get dragged along. Hey, since you're S back, I assume oh. you accepted our request. R right. Voice acted. Let's go. If Shachi's all for it, then I've got no objections. I'll trust you too. You must really trust Shachi. We were living on the streets when he took us in. He built the resistance up to what it is now. Everyone huh. is indebted to Shachi to varying degrees. He's like a big brother to us. Damn, even to the old man? That's kind of crazy. Though he does have shortcomings, like excessively avoiding conflict. 
and being oblivious about anything financial. Well, I guess it's good that he has others with him, man. What's this? Workbench. This is... Looks like a resistant member's workbench. There are several tools I'm unfamiliar with on top. Judging by the gun, I'm guessing it's the, that one ladies. Something dangerous could be mixed in there, so you better ask before you touch. Yeah, I'll keep my hands to myself. Damn. When did we start using an Amaterasu safe? Trustworthy. Bah! There's nothing trustworthy about it. Oh, whoops. Where'd that one girl go? Oh, wait, no. She went with Shachi, didn't she? So, you accepted the job. That's good. Let me fill you in on the details, then. Hi, hi. Yes, please. Thank you much. You will be setting up surveillance cameras in four designated locations. These are the cameras you're going to be setting up. They're delicate machines, so handle them with care. Interesting. Also, I'll give you a transceiver for communication. It's shaped like a smartwatch, since they're so trendy nowadays. Since they're so trendy. I'll tell you where to set up the cameras with it. Locations will be kept secret until last minute to avoid leaks. Makes sense. Once you finish setting one up, I'll give you the next location. Where's the first location? Well, that's the whole point. I'll contact you as soon as you leave, so I can test the transceiver's performance at the same time. If you don't hear anything from me, there's a chance the transceiver is broken. Bring it back here, and I'll fix it. Right. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Be sure not to get caught by the peacekeepers. They're gonna cut you off if you get caught anyway. I'll do my best. All right. A bed. There's a bee in a bed. It's stained and darkened in places. What? It looks pretty similar to the sofa you sleep on, Master. That's underwater now, though. I hope everyone's all right. Maybe they ended up in Bikini Bottom. Is something else bothering you? Bikini if what? Not, then let's get out of here. Oh, uh, were you drawn to attention by the word bikini? Sorry, I forgot you're a pervert detective. You know. What? It's an older display with a cracked screen. If it's broken, why not just throw it away? <laughs> Maybe it still works, Master. Why don't you give it a 45 degree chop? I don't think that'll fix the crack. A locker. Mm. It's a row of narrow golden lockers. Looks like they're all locked. What about this looks golden to you? <sighs> they're rusty, but it looks like they're still being used. Why not just buy new ones already? Maybe it's not in their budget. Wouldn't be too surprised on that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, they say. Out here. Let me just check every nook and cranny. I probably did this last time too, but I'm doing it again, gosh darn it. Oh, mini fridge. Wow. There's chilled alcohol in the fridge. Wine, beer, all kinds of drinks. I would have a drink with you, master. I don't think I have any f fun stories to share. Just having you there is funny enough, so have some confidence. Is that a compliment? I ended up accepting the job. If this helps Kanai Ward in some way, it could reduce the number of unsolved mysteries. Heck yeah. Even if I can't help the whole world become happier, I can at least help those closest to me. That's all everyone and can do. if I complete this request, I have a chance to get closer to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. It's fine to be optimistic and everything, but I doubt it'll go as planned. This is you we're talking about. You're like the Grim Reaper for everyone else. I know one when I see one. Like you're one to talk. Yeah, for real. Anyway, what about the other detectives who got bombed? You sure you haven't forgotten about them? I'm sure we'll run into one of them eventually, at least. I'd never forget them. Finding everyone is my top priority. I can work on this case at the same time. Hmm, that's pretty efficient. I didn't expect that from you. Why, did you expect him to be single-minded? <sighs> Come on, let's go. All right. Wait, let me check over here. I might have missed someone. Nope. What? God, the freaking... I kind of wish Shinigami was a different color almost, just because the, every time she leaves those blue trails behind, 
and I keep thinking, oh wait, that's a collectible, but no, it's just freaking After Effects. Like trailing behind her. I mean, I do like her design, but either change her design or change the freaking the freaking symbols for, or where you find the Shinigami statues, you know? Oh, I'm getting a call. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ow. Okay, never mind. This is Sir, oh no. Yes, this is the I can hear you. This is the same voice effect they had for Seth. Get me out of here. So far so good. Here are the instructions for the first camera location. Oh man. For the first surveillance camera. Pain. I want you to set it up at a phone booth in the commercial area, Marunamon District. Uh, I don't know that place yet. Marunamon District. I've never been there before. Oh really? Well, I'll send you directions through the transceiver. Okay. Contact me when you arrive. I'll tell you how to set it up then. Can you just like text me instead? Like you're pretending to be a spy. I'm not pretending. This is actual spy work. Spy family. Anya Foja. District for now. All right. Do I have free room? Oh. Oh, I can free roam now if I wanted to. And I do need to go over there for something. Doya District is our current stuff. Kamasaki is where we need to go first. Let's first check things around here. Cases like that don't just happen all the time. At least I hope not. Let's check around. We're probably going to be missing something. Oh, no. It's a garbage dump site, but the trash is overflowing. Looks like it's been left here for a long time. Oh. It's a slum, so there's probably no one willing to collect it. Plus, if they did a lousy job, they get jumped. Fair enough. I knew it! It's the slums, so the cars around here are pretty shoddy. Let me get this first. I don't want Madaros' control now. It's our city, it's our responsibility to protect it. That's why. Is that why you joined the resistance? Yep, to create a peaceful place for free from subjugation. Might be alone now, but having lots of allies is the way to go. I'll need your hope from here on, too. I'll think about it. Alright, one more. Which one? Uh, another one for Vivia. Okay. I'll save that for the start of next one. We're all, we've already done three of them this time. As much as I would like to do an entire episode worth of them, uh, probably not my smartest idea. Da da. Look around. We're just gonna look around this whole place once, thoroughly. This Liquor place. shop. Huh? Kind of, kind of smart. Making use of like pipes in order to do business. I mean, hey, not a bad idea. Nope. Something like, I guess it's just something that's hanging up there. I was like, there's something that's orple, that is orple up there. Wow, the buildings are all underwater. Because the drainage isn't working around here, the water just continues to pool. Yeah, shame they don't have anyone around here that could have taken care of us before it all went down. Hello, child. Weird sucking sounds. Mm huh? -hmm. Oh. There's some real hate here. Don't worry, children have problems. Look around every little nook and kudani. Kudani. I mean, we're definitely probably gonna have to come to these little side areas for like a side quest eventually. Uh -huh. Just don't talk to me, I don't have energy to spare. I can remember a lot of this is filler dialogue. I don't need to freaking wear out my vocal cords by voicing it. I say as I proceed to talk like a freaking wordsmith, anyways. Peacekeeper Stenders! Huh? Oh. You're downright captivated by those pink lights. What kind of lewd thoughts are going through your mind, Master? Oh no! Got that much from glance me glancing at some fluorescent lighting? 
I'm surprised they have this much fluorescent lighting in a place like this. Not really the type of place you'd expect it. Uh, I forget, was I allowed to walk over here? I think I was. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right, well, I guess now we can head... We're gonna ha actually head to Kanai Tower. We'll deal with this first. Since, you know, it's a side quest that we haven't taken care of. Always better get those out the way. Alrighty. Can I re-enter here out of curiosity first? This is truly... Uh, nope. Not for now. Well, I guess if I miss something, I'll get to see it eventually. I'm just gonna have to remember if I ever end up going back up there. Excuse which, I probably me. will. I don't mind, but what's it about? Uh... uh are you disillusioned by Kanai words blah 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 blah? Then... Then I'll say it... Oh. S sorry not something you talk about openly. Honestly, I would I wouldn't have much of a problem if the peacekeepers weren't so corrupt. But as it stands, they essentially control the Matarasu. <sighs> I wonder if there's anything we can do. By the way, I'll never forgive you if you report this to a Matarasu. I'll haunt you forever. Huh? I would never do that. And the choich. Nyom. Alrighty. I don't know why I unpaused here. I could have unpaused once I actually got to the NPC, but here I am doing my use. That's I'm unsettling. Twisted and distorted. Every time I come up here, I always check to make sure I'm not missing anything again. You never know what you're gonna. Well, I got to see some crows fly away at least. That's kind of cool, I suppose. What's up with you? Church of the Metal Fox. No. <laughs> no, I'd rather not pray to you either. Well, why? Because you're a death me. god. DBDBDBD. Uh, what? I can never answer that. It's too what? embarrassing. Embarrassing? You should only ask that sort of thing once you've gotten to know each other better. Why? Is that right? She's worried her friends might see her talking to you and start spreading rumors. Sure. You really think so? Yeah, that's right. I really think so. Well, either you a proper answer. What do you mean? What kind of answer is that? Aww. You got shot down. Oh, so I'm sorry. What? I see. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Makes three people. Well, that third person probably didn't go too well, but you know what? We'll take what we can get. Alrighty then. Wait, what was that? Oh, just a person. Who's been around? Because always preaching us support us with that megaphone. Hello? Where could he be? Yeah, I am kind of worried about what happened to that dude. Either he got killed off or... I don't know. But it didn't show him as dead on the profiles menu, at least. Yet. Uh-oh. Bastard! Owie! You alright? Come on! You'll get arrested! Sure. But... Nothing to do with me. Huh? Uh -huh. I mean, I think that's him trying to be nice. No, no he's trying to protect me. The weather in Kanai Ward tomorrow will be. That's it! He's asking about the survey. We're disillusioned then. Seems like sunshine. Sunshine. What a relief. And it's still too early for me to call it quits. 
kind of dumb crap are you spending? It's going to rain all day today, tomorrow, and every day after that. You come with me. Uh, what a fool. There's no hope for him now that the peacekeepers have him. His own fault for defying Madarasu. It'll be fine, probably. But. Despite what those people are saying. Yeah. I have a feeling he'll be back someday. I just know it. Please look forward to Chapter 5. You know, if there's ever a time when characters return, it always has to be at the very end, you know? Be it side characters or whatever else. And we haven't explored most of this area. All this stuff over the side. There's probably, like, something here, too, I'd think. Got, like, all this area. This is probably, like, late game stuff, though. Alright. Kamasaki. Actually, I just realized we got here, but we're already over 40 minutes. So, you know what? I'm gonna say screw what I said before. We're gonna do that gumshoe gab now. Vivia number three. It might be a bit of a slow day here, but you know what? Some days you don't need to have it all. Laura's coin. Bandage. Book catalog. Comes to a particular preference for genre. He just reads to pass the time. Fair enough. Hold up. Sorry, there isn't really too much going on this episode. I need some type of thumbnail. All right, there we go. Um, Vivia? I mean, hey, this game gives me an easy thumbnail button. I'm going to make use of it. I was thinking of making some coffee. Would you like some? Coffee would be nice. But there is a much greater problem. Uh, what, what would that be? Problem? The large beast dwelling inside me is roaring louder than ever. I... No. No human could defeat the beast. Inside you, there are two wolves. What are you one wants to about? die. The other one wants to simply sleep. We can either grant its wish and coexist, or be consumed by it. Those are our only options now. Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? Right now, it is about to crush my heart. For I have ignored its desires. I have no clue what you're talking about. Neither do I, my man. My, my man. Help me. Help you with what? Even if I ask him, he probably won't tell me anyway. I guess you have to figure it out for yourself. The beast from within is about to crush his heart because he has ignored its desires for too long. Um, what Vivi is trying to say is... His back hurts. He has a headache. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get too funny of stuff. Maybe I can get something funny from this, but I'm just going to go with what I think is right. Should it be that you're hungry? Yes. If I Hell had to yeah. phrase it another way, I suppose that's it. <laughs> you could have just told me that. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I can't take another step. You make it sound like that's bad for you. Don't you like to not take steps? I would deeply appreciate it if you brought me some bread or something. Well, that's the first time I've seen that distraught portrait. Thank you, Yuma. You saved me. It's fine, but why didn't you eat anything? Not eating for a full day can't be good for your health. So you want to know why? Let's take... For example, how many would want to try climbing a tall mountain range after first seeing it? Are you giving me the frickin' Konami Date porn speech right now? Is that what we're going through? Are you about to be like, why do, why, why do parkour, why do people that do parkour or whatever jump from building to building? Why do thrill seekers climb the highest peaks? However, very few would actually put that desire into action. Do you understand? Not at all. Uh-uh. Well, that's fine. I don't mind. But I do! Vivia won't tell me. 
so I should just figure it out again. Damn, we get two different ones I here. I need to figure out why people don't go climbing mountains to understand why he didn't eat yesterday. Jeez, this guy is way too much trouble. I gotta agree with you on that one oh, to an extent. People don't climb mountains even if they want to because it's too much trouble. Because it's too much trouble? Well, I suppose you could say that. You felt it was too much trouble so you didn't eat for a whole day? You know, Vivia... Wait, sorry, I want to hear that last part of it. You felt it was too much skipped. trouble so you didn't eat for a whole day? Could you be any lazier? <laughs> Do you get theatrical like this on purpose whenever you don't want to talk about something? Do I? Maybe, you know, you might be cooking, Yuma. We are all Frosal Ponson. <laughs> and it's only once you realize it that you... You're doing it again! <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have grown even closer. Yuma cooked. Now we know how he goes. The more he doesn't want to talk about shit, the more fancy he gets with his speech. Incredible. We have learned valuable information on this day. Now let us hope that it continues into the far off future. Man, I wish I turned off the UI for that Halara one. I feel like that one was a more unique background for the thumbnail. But oh well, we'll roll with what we get. I mean, I could just find a good shot, a good camera angle somewhere in the city, but and might be a bit too big of a hassle. <sighs> Three, three, three. Now we're over halfway. Still need to get one more for Desahiko and Fubuki until we're at three with everyone, but we're making good progress. I just want to check our updated profiles here. Uh, here we go. Oh, I'll just spit more for him. All right. Well, I think we've done some progress at least, mostly just with going through optional content, but you know, I had a fun time with it. And we also got to do some, we at least got to have, what am I even trying to say? We got through a little bit of dialogue with what the, shit, I don't know, remember the guy's name. That's why I'm stuttering right now. What was your name? Servan. We got our objective from Servan, and we're already in Kamasaki, so at the start of next one, we're just going to go straight to it. We've already taken care of the only side quest we have available. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, matane.